What's up, what's good, what's poppin'? I'm AJ Monroe. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you've been here before, what have you done to change your life? So things today are different. I am sitting on the couch. I'm not standing or in my office. I think I've been like changing up my scenery anyways. But um, I think that it's totally important for me on my channel to kind of give you guys even kind of my like personal thoughts on what growth and what lifestyle is and like how to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish because I totally think that it's it's totally cool for me to put out a video on seven small habits to make your life better but if you still have those small things that I know are harming you uh, but I'm not letting you know them but they're just kind of more intimate things to me and I think that's kind of what we're talking about. I think today is one of those days where I'm just gonna kind of like sit here and we are just gonna have an honest, I'm gonna have an honest monologue about some things that need to shake and move in your life because that is sometimes what needs to happen. Sometimes you can't stay doing the same thing and sometimes it takes someone to come in and let you know that like it can't happen anymore. So I think that's what these vlogs are about kind of. It's just kind of like me giving you a little bit more of an honest truth than I normally would in my normal videos. So a couple months ago, I was actually watching this video from Alux. I don't know if you guys know them. They're just kind of like a luxury, living a luxury brand kind of YouTube. I get sucked into their videos. They're really fun. I, I think if you've ever seen an Alux video, they definitely make you want to do better. But in one of their videos, they said that people you want to hang out with don't hang out with you because you hang out with losers. And in this video, they were kind of saying that influencers, entrepreneurs, personalities, like that's why they don't hang out with, you know, Alex is a luxury style YouTube. And so it made sense that that's what they were talking about at the time. But I kind of saw past all of the fluff. And I was just kind of like, this definitely needs to be talked about when it comes to just kind of like your everyday life. Your people you should be hanging out with, people who are going to enrich your life, people who are gonna further you in life, aren't hanging out with you because you're hanging out with people who they would never associate themselves with. Also part of the video, they said that it was better to become a lone wolf instead of hanging out with the people that you would hang out with the said losers. Uh, I just think it was crazy they called them losers. It was definitely a message that needed to be heard. It was definitely a message that I needed. I want to move in those circles and so it's just kind of like they did it for me but um, for normal people yeah you definitely don't don't throw away your, your loser friends. But when we do talk about creating a new lifestyle for ourselves, dressing better, smelling better, eating better, uh, doing better generally, creating other sources of income, you have to understand that there are people in your life who definitely, but in our aspects, when we are talking about our lifestyle that we are trying to gain, uh, when we're talking about eating better, looking better, smelling better, uh, creating more forms of income for ourselves, you have to understand that there are people with small mindsets who are not gonna understand that you are trying to do better for yourself. There are people who are not going to care and who are not gonna wanna help you advance. Instead, they are gonna speak negativity into your life and those are the people that we wanna get rid of now. Super guilty of not wanting to get rid of people in my life who are bad for me solely because I don't want them to be mad at me. But I think on this new lifestyle journey, especially because I'm putting it on camera, I'm putting it um, out for the universe to see, for people to see, um, I definitely can't, I feel, I just felt that, you know, letting these people go who weren't good for me, the people who I just kind of feel like always had something negative say, I think I, more recently I have been thinking about a specific person who whenever I speak to them, they have something negative to say about someone. And I am not ne I am not necessarily the target often. You know, I am the target sometimes. You have to expect it. But uh, even though it's about other people, it still affects me negatively. I still take on that energy at some point. And there was a moment where I was like, oh my God, I am doing a lifestyle brand now. I am telling people that they need to do better and that kind of, that I need to be doing, I do as I do. That's what we're doing here, do as I do. And so I have kind of like made the conscious decision to 
take these negative people out of my life solely because it's going to... I made the decision to take these people out of my life because it's going to be better for me in the long run. I say this all the time that I'm trying to figure out what's best for us, what we can do in our life to make our life better. I am gonna start doing decorating tips very soon. I just want to make sure I can do it. We're gonna talk about the shoes you should be wearing, the clothes you should be wearing, and I have currently experienced it. You look different. You care about what you wear out in the world. You care about how you're perceived in the world. People in your life will take negative notice. There are people in your life who are okay with you being down. There are people who in your life are okay with you being in a space where you need help and they want to see you there and that is an issue. They need to be let go of because that's, that's hindering your growth. Having someone speak negatively about you in other spaces or even to your face. I have literally had people say things to my face like, oh, you're trying to do better now, hmm. And I'm like, obviously, I have a whole channel about me doing better. And so distancing yourself from those people is ultimately going to let you live your life unapologetically and living your life unapologetically means that you are able to grow and move into these different spaces and have people around you that you feel like you can be open and honest with not only but the, also people that you can grow with people who aren't going to judge you for being different and if i'm yeah i'm being completely honest with you if you keep these people in your life who are negative if you continue to be afraid of letting these people go the people who are good for you the people who want to be in your life are definitely not going to come in your life because i i personally don't want to be in someone's life where i am attempting to pour into them and be motivational and help them with their issues and help them grow a business at some point. But they also have these people in their life that they're having me consistently, people in their life that they're having me consistently around that I really don't enjoy. Their energy is just bad. I, I don't want to deal with that person. I'm always just like, you know what? Whenever you get it together, I'll come back around. But at this point, I just don't feel like it's for us. I've definitely told somebody, I was like, maybe you need to drink some water or meditate, but I have to go. <laughs> Removing people will allow space in your energy for others to come in, people who are better for you, people who can help you navigate this world, people who can help you grow. So I think looking forward, because I, I never come with a problem without a solution. I think that give your routine some serious effort. What I have found is that I have given people the option to either get with my routine or get lost. So if I have it scheduled, I need to be doing it. And as I'm doing it, people will call me and be like, hey, do you want to do this? I'm like, hey, I'm busy until five o'clock, but if you want to do something after that, and they'll be like, oh no, I'm good. I have something else to do. And we can keep doing that for a couple of weeks until you realize that I have a routine and you're going to respect that or you're not. And a lot of people think that that's disrespectful, making people move on your time. However, no one has the same 24 that I do. No one has the same 24 that you do. No one has the same time in the day to make things happen for yourself. And I think that if you are attempting to make your life better, if you are attempting to do better for yourself, you need to be sticking to your routine. And then once we are at the tax bracket, once we are at the space where all of our bills are on auto pay and we don't have to worry where that money is coming from, then we can relax on our routine and we can have fun with those people. But I think until then, you need to respect the fact that I have things to do and I will respect the fact that you have things to do and we can meet in the middle or we cannot do anything at all. And that is just what it is. That's that on that. I think along with that, I am an advocate for meditation and prayer. I think that both of those things bring clarity. If not answers, they bring clarity. Spend a couple minutes with yourself and your God, whomever those people are, and really ask yourself and for guidance about who should be in your life and who shouldn't be in your life. I think that most people will call me crazy, but anytime I meet someone in my life and I think that they will be a significant person and they're not just a fleeting person, I definitely pray about it. I definitely make sure that they're in my life for the right reason. And I think if while praying, I just feel like, you know what, maybe I'm forcing the narrative, maybe I'm projecting this, then I just go ahead and I let that go. I let that go with the wind because it's not good for me and I only want things that are gonna make me grow and things that are gonna make me happy. And so I think you should also 
um, find some time to be with yourself and really think about the people in your life, the things in your life that you want to do and how those mesh together because everybody can't go everywhere with you. I genuinely just kind of wanted to come. This is vlog style. I think I'll do these more often. Um, I made these for me. I think that I definitely needed um, a moment to make it realistic that people in my life needed to go. And I think that if I'm dealing with it, other people are dealing with it. And I should talk about it if I have a platform, if I want to have a genuine and authentic platform. We're gonna talk about everything that we need to talk about in order for us to grow as people and be better people. On top of that, I am launching my website, which I will um, do a blog post and give you a little bit more extensive information on what I mean and what I feel and how I feel on letting people go. I'm AJ Monroe. You guys have a great week. Stay blessed, never pressed. Bye.